Now we're on to, yes, definitely got to be number two, okay? This might be number one next year. Mirrors, change of direction. Now, early on the last video, I talked about the reason why I came down this road a little bit longer and I avoided Greenford Roundabout uh, because there's a junction coming up here on the left, which is less likely to use, but you might come to this junction. It's very difficult to see. So the examiners will generally tell you it's just after this green sign coming up on the left, take the next road on the left. So when they say that, start to signal because it will be the next road on the left. You can see the van in front of me is actually taking two vans and taking this. It's quite wide, so you can use all of this section, go into the middle and take this whole middle part to now follow the road straight ahead. Okay, I just wanted to show that junction. Now back to number two, mirrors, change direction. So we've got to check our mirrors before we change direction. What does this mean? So a good example would be, or a good way of creating a habit so you always do this, is when you're going around the parked car, for example. So I'm really surprised that meeting isn't on this list. But when we're meeting, sometimes on the driving test, we'll stop for the oncoming vehicle. Some people are a bit too hesitant and they stop for every part vehicle. Now, if there's a vehicle behind you that's following you, I'm gonna take the next road on the left. Uh, it might come up on this road, actually. Uh, if there's a vehicle behind you that's getting impatient with you always stopping for the oncoming traffic, what do you think they're gonna do before you move off after you've stopped for the oncoming traffic? They've got impatient they're most likely going to try to overtake you. You might not think that this would happen, but it's way too common. So before you move off, leave this gap open with the single line here. The double line, I could stop in front because he's got to give way. But if that white van needed to turn left, I do not want to block them. This would obstruct the main road traffic and I could receive a serious fault there for potential road markings or awareness and planning. We want to keep this main road flowing. Okay, back to number two. So mirror checks to change direction. So when I pull in and I give way to the oncoming traffic, this is a meeting situation, which could possibly happen here if I get a lorry coming towards me. So I'm going to move back out and I'm referred to traffic behind me, possibly getting impatient. Now, if I don't check my side mirror, Always pair your mirrors, by the way, so internal side mirror. But if I don't check my side mirror, and I'm not aware of this vehicle that's now got impatience trying to overtake me, and then I go to move out with no awareness due to this vehicle, it's most likely gonna be an accident. This is a very common reason why people will fail for mirror checks change of direction. Another hot place for this to happen is when you're on a roundabout. So as an example, when people exit roundabouts. So say you're doing the second or the third exit on the roundabout, here's a prime example. So I'm turning right, third exit. Mirror, mirror signal, so this is the mirror's for signal, not on the list. And then the mirror for change of direction would be when I turn off the roundabout, turning off to the left check my left mirror for any other road users. Now that's a mini roundabout, only one lane. If there's multiple lanes, you're gonna be crossing a lane on the exit. Therefore, there's more chance of there being another vehicle and even more reason why we'd need to check our mirrors before change of direction. I hope that's been informative. If it has, please hit the thumbs up. Give us a like as it's so, so valuable to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, why not subscribe? Because there'll be more feature videos like this. We do a weekly news forecast at two day pass every Wednesday at nine. And we're gonna move on to number one reason why people fail their driving test 2019. Coming up, click this little card. I don't know what it's called yet.